unboxing an ICANN light kit. It's got five lights, five stands, really nice kit here. Based on the shape of this box, I'm going to assume we have a stand in here. Or stand. Long and vertical. In this bag, we have light stands. Three of them to be exact. They come in sleeves, plastic sleeves, inside of different slots to slide them into. So we have all three of them in there. For now, I'm going to keep them in the plastic sleeve. It's not going to get scratched either way, but it just keeps it nicer. Here's another one. This one feels different. But as I can feel by its weight and squishiness, there are no stands in it. This box came the stands inside of smaller boxes. For whatever reason. So, let's open these up. Just like in the previous box. Stands are inside of plastic sleeves. We have two knobs for risers, one to extend the legs at the bottom. Since I'm going to be using these to work with students, I'm not going to keep them in the plastic sleeves. I'd rather keep these stands from getting scratched up as much as possible. This bag has slots for three stands, but this ICANN light kit comes with five lights, five stands. So now they're inside of this. Zip it up. Second light kit. Second light stand bag. This box will hold the lights. The lights come in a durable bag. Everything. Well, they can be put into a durable bag. In this case, they're each in a separate box. Let's start with one. Get an image of the light on the back where you're able to adjust the intensity of the light. And feel this top part kind of bowing. Probably because the piece that connects. No, it's actually just because it's squished. Open it up, you see in there. Slides right out, lots of foam padding. In here is some further smaller boxes. So that's just foam padding left in there. Small box here. 
is a battery plate. Mount this to the back. You can actually get batteries to put onto these lights. So you're, you can actually bring them out on locations to shoot without having to run a generator or find additional power sources. So you've opened the barn doors and we have some soft foam protecting each layer. Here's the light. I'm now assuming this is actually an adapter. We can mount this over here on off switch where we plug in power. Have it upside down. There we go. This is a dimmer. You roll that and you can adjust your intensity. The light itself is already a soft box, already pretty diffused. Can't spot and flood, but you can still get some pretty good light based on the barn doors. You can kind of make it a little more focused or more wide. Um, but really good for interviews and just overall even lighting. Here we go, this plugs into power. Other cables here. Power cable goes to this, which connects to the light. It's at a little 90 degree elbow. We have some straps that we can use to tie those cables. And here is a safety cable. It's a little metal cable that you can use to attach this to uh, rigging or anything to keep it from falling over. All right, I'm gonna unbox the others. They're all going to be the same. Here we have five lights, uh, all their additional hardware. And so in the box, at the bottom of all the lights, this is a second large box. One came with four, one came with one, and two bags. bags have come collapsed down into a smaller shape. I'm going to open up the handles, unzip the lid, lift it up and there inside we have dividers and additional padding as well as handle that got attached to the velcro on that padding the handle uh, shoulder strap handle. and so in here we have all the dividers this one will be most likely the same I think at most one of these can hold actually four lights. What I tend to do is do three and two, and in the additional slot that it comes with, I put all the hardware. So one has three lights, because standard easiest is three point lighting, just like before, shoulder strap. 
dividers. It's hard to see black on black, but they're dividers. And so in this one we can do three lights and last slot for the hardware for those three lights. Then in the other one, we can do two lights and the hardware for that one in that last slot. So here we have five lights, a bag, and dividers inside the bag, plus cables to turn them on, to run power to them, and we have ourselves a nice five light kit.